Good evening, fellow scouts. I wish just for one second you could be standing where I'm standing now and see all these people gather together from all these different nations, all with the same spirit of friendship, of coming together, of curiosity about each other's world and each other's aspirations. Welcome to The Hague. Welcome to The Hague. I hope you have a bit of patience left because I know you want to do other things and listen to people speak from here. But please indulge me for just a few minutes. I have a few messages I would like to share with you. I said this about curiosity. There was once a great man whom I had the privilege to call my friend. His name was Shimon Perez. And he once told me, we have Israeli scouts. And he once told me this, he says, Franz, you know, human progress is a product of dissatisfaction and curiosity. You're not happy with the way things are, and you're curious about a better world. And I think this is very, very true. The world will wither away if we lose our dissatisfaction with things that aren't right, and if we lose our curiosity for making things better. And in all my years living in many different countries, I learned many things. You know what this, the first thing is you learn when you live in a different country? You don't learn first that much about that different country. You learn to look into yourself and understand where you're from. I became a Dutchman because I lived in other countries. You understand your own identity better if you are in touch with other identities and open to other identities. And I think this is one of the most important messages I learned as a young scout. My childhood was not always very easy, but I always had a place to go to where people would listen to me, where people would make fun to me if I, about me if I exaggerated, but would put a hand on my shoulder if I needed it, where people would be there if I had a problem, where people taught me the sense of civic duty, where people taught me not to judge, but to ask. You know, being a scout, I understood and learned that it's easy to teach people to hate but you have to teach them. People aren't born hating. People aren't born xenophobes. People aren't born racists. People aren't born homophobes. Young children take people the way they are. And if there's one thing I would ask every single one of you to do, not just now, in the years to come, when you will all become leaders of Europe, and other places around the world. There's one thing I would ask you to do, is always to keep an open mind. If someone is different, don't judge them for being different. Ask them what drives them. If someone is poor, <laughs> if someone is poor, don't judge them for being poor. Ask them how you can help them. If someone is angry, don't judge them for being angry. Talk to them so that you can take away their anger. If someone hates, don't look away. Don't be afraid. Don't isolate them. Don't judge them. Talk to them. Hatred was, hatred, hatred was taught, so hatred can be untaught. And if there's one duty for scouts, wherever you are, is to teach people no longer to hate. This is, for me, the most important thing a scout can do. In this world of ours, in this world of ours, leadership is being redefined. 
we are no longer in the world where in a paternalistic way you can say, I am elected, so I am above you, I can lead you. Leadership is something you have to build, you have to earn. It's based on moral fiber. It's based on your understanding of your values. It's based on what you learned. And as a scout, you learned to understand difference. You learned to respect nature. You learned to understand that if we don't act, our natural environment is going to perish, and we with it. You learned that diversity is not a source of anger, frustration. It is a source of progress. Just ask yourselves, in what environment are new inventions made? In what environment are solutions found? In an environment where everybody looks the same, acts the same, already agrees? Or an environment where different people come together, curious about each other's inspiration, curious about each other's difference? I would say, and the French have the most beautiful expression of that, be prepared. Be prepared for the world that is coming. Be prepared for a world where people are ready to exploit people's fears and create anger everywhere. Be prepared for that world and have an answer to that world. And that answer should be, we're in it together. We will contribute. We will lead by example. We will show what we have learned and we will teach others to go the same way. If every single one of you, future leaders of Europe, are able to inspire at least 10 people around you, you will change Europe in your image. You will create a Europe where people understand each other better, where people like the fact that we're all different, where different cultures are a source of inspiration, and where this diversity is going to show to the rest of the world that Europe is able to shape its own future. Thank you very, very much for all of you. Thank you.